Hello friends, so in today's video, we will be looking at code forces 230A problem that is the dragons. So the problem states that Kirito is stuck on a level of MMORPG he is playing. To move on in the game, he's got to defeat all the end dragons that are alive on the level he's on. So Kirito and dragons each have strength and which is represented by an integer. In duel between two opponents, the duel's outcome is determined by their strength. Initially, Kirito's strength equals S and as and when Kirito starts dueling, if he defeats a dragon I, he gets the strength YI and he only defeats the dragon if its S is greater than the XI of the dragon. So the input is in such format that the first line contains two integers S and N. Then the N lines follow with the XI and YI of all the dragons. So the output here should be yes if he is able to defeat all the dragons and no if he is not able to defeat those dragons. Some example input and output are given here. So in this case we can see that we need to sort the array of dragons based on their strength. So as and when Kirito starts defeating those dragons with strength lower than his, he'll be able to increase his strength and if he encounters a dragon whose strength is greater than his, then he's not able to move forward and we simply return no as the answer. So the algorithm for this would be such that first we take in the input S and N, then we initialize a vector of pair to store X, I and Y, I. You can initialize any data structure uh, which contains a list of lists in Python or 2D array in any other language. But since I am going to code in C++, I'll simply declare a vector of pair to store both X, I and Y. So for, for then I'll take all the input for X, I and Y. I. Then as I said, I will sort the vector with respect to X, I. Then I will initialize a boolean flag to check if the condition is true or not. So if the condition means that I am not able to defeat the dragon, then I will change the flag to false and I won't print yes as the answer in the end. So what I'll do is first I'll iterate over all the elements of vector and I'll check the condition if vector i dot first less than s. So vector i dot first is our xi which is the strength of dragon i and if it is less than kirito strength s then i will increment the kirito strength by vector i dot second which is equal to y i else i will simply declare flag as false and print no and break from the loop as i am not able to defeat the dragon i would output no and after all the iterations are done and i am able to iterate through all of the dragons then it simply means that i can defeat all the dragons given my strength and i will print yes so the code for this would be such that i'll be typing it here alongside you first i would take in kirito's strength and number of dragons then i would declare a vector of pair let's name it drags Then I would take its input. Yeah. After I've taken all the input, first step is to sort the array. Then after sorting, I would declare a flag and I would iterate over all the elements. So I am checking if my strength is greater than dragon's strength 
if it is then i will increment my strength by yi and if no then i will simply see out no and break from here and i will check here if flag exists then i will see out yes so this would be the code for this problem i will just submit it to check As you can see, the answer gets accepted. So this is the solution for this. So guys, if you have any other suggestions for me, please do mention it down in the comment section below and like and share the video and do subscribe to my channel so I can make more such tutorials and videos for you guys.